All right, welcome everybody. My name is Ter Peterson. I, I, would, I just wanted to put out a quick video how to properly enable DLS 4.5 in Star Citizen as there is some other YouTube videos who are telling people wrong information, telling that it's, uh, that it's working and it's not. And I'm going to demonstrate how to check if it's working and to how, and to, how to actually get DLS 4.5 working in Star Citizen. So first of all, if you don't already know, this, this should already be covered, but you need to make sure you have the latest beta drivers uh, downloaded. Um, which is going to be the um, the 591.74 drivers here, where it has the DLS 4.5. All you got to do is click on settings, about, and then make sure you opt in for the beta uh, feature. If you don't want to do this, I think the official driver comes out on the 13th. Um, otherwise, you need a better driver. The next step is to make a profile for Star Citizen, uh, so you can uh, actually enable it. Now, when you when you do this, when you, when you set yours up, you're going to notice that the DLS or is going to be this, all these options are going to be greater. You, you can't set these because they are blocked by the NVIDIA app by default. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, but the thing is, the, the other videos are saying this, the other videos are saying that you can simply come to global settings, uh, override it here in the global settings, and then it'll work in Star Citizen. This is incorrect. That does not work. And I'm going to show you how to check for that. So um, to check for that, hit your um, Alt Z on your keyboard to bring up your overlay. And then you want to go to statistics, and then you want to set this either to DLSS um, to bring up DLSS, or you can go to custom, and then click on view all and scroll down here, and you can turn on super resolution model override uh, mode. This one right here, and you're you're going to get this right here, which right now it's not nothing's running, so it says not available. Uh, when you start the game up. Um, before I show you how to fix this, you'll see that it still says not available because it's not working. Uh, the global setting does not work. Now, um, what else I was going to say? Uh, uh, when you turn this on, normally this is actually going to be across the top. I like that you can configure this to um, actually uh, be uh, stacked if you want. That, you, know, just, you can just change the way it shows here, but that's, not, that's why my shows up like this. Anyway, um, to, to actually get this to work, this is what you need. There's, there's a PowerShell script that's on a uh, Star Citizen subreddit post. And I'll put all the links to my description here, but this is where I got it from. This is there's a Star Citizen uh, Reddit post here, which has this GitHub link how to run to to run to get this script to actually to remove the whitelist so you can actually force DLSS 4.5 and Star Citizen. So um, click on this link here, and it's going to take you to this page right here. This is the actual script. Uh, but just click on where it says download zip here, download it to your computer. I've already got it, so I don't need to do it again. And then um, it's going to come up. It's going to look just like this is the file that's going to show up here. It's this big long thing. Just unzip it. I just renamed it to script. That way it's easy to change to because what you're going to do, you're going to run Windows PowerShell. So click on your start here, uh, type in power, and you want to run this PowerShell as administrator. Okay. Now, once you get this open, um, change the directory to wherever you have the script. Mine's on my F drive, so I'm going to type F colon, enter, okay, switch from F drive, and then I'm going to change the directory to script. And now I have, now I'm on the same script here. Now, if you try to run the script directly without this first uh, thing you need to do, it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to work. Windows is going to block it. So to get around that, you need to uh, run this, uh, this right here. Now, if you don't trust me, if you don't, see, you want to see right. All I did to get this command, I just went to Windows, uh, Google. I just typed in how to install a PowerShell script, and it is somewhere not there. Where is it? Where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Right here. Set execute policy. I just this is this is where I got that from. Okay, this is this is just going to allow you to run unsigned script code. Uh, otherwise, Windows will block it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on mine now to kind of show you what it looks like. So down here in PowerShell, I'm just going to paste that in, to enter, and you're going to get this. All I do is click on A for yes to all. So type in A, enter, you're done. Now you got to actually run the actual script. So for that, uh, Ben, just go back to where you got it. I just like, I'm lazy as so I like to copy paste everything. So just highlight that. Come back over here. You just want to type in period uh, backslash and then the name of the actual script and hit enter and you're going to get this. Uh, the one you need to run, if you already have the driver installed and everything, you can just run number two. Now I'm not going to do that on mine because I already have it installed. If I run that, for some reason it breaks the video and it, it stops my recording. But anyway, just install it. It'll run through some things. It'll say done. You'll come back. You'll click three to exit and you'll close it out. Then you just need to reboot, restart your computer. Okay. 
once you get your computer restarted, you can come back to your NVIDIA uh, app and you will now have under the graphics um, for your, your start center profile, you'll now actually be able to, this won't no longer be grayed out, you can actually select the latest model um, or whatever you want to set it to. You know, if you want to do custom and select a specific one or um, whatever you want to do, you can do that. So I just rendered on latest and I'm going to show you how that looks in game now. So let's go ahead and start Star Citizen up. Now currently I have my Star Citizen set in windowed mode because if I do not, it will um, it will not show you the overlay in full screen mode. So I just simply got it running in windowed at, at 4K, uh, but you're gonna notice that I don't normally play that way, but for this video demonstration, I wanted you to see the overlay and how, what, what, what it looks like here when it's actually working. <clears throat> I did forget one thing. I forgot to show you all how to make a star system profile in your app. I'll, I'll do that as soon as I get to demonstrating here real quick. It's very easy, but I kind of forgot to demonstrate that. But anyway, let's go into uh, universe here. You can already see right here, it already says preset M. It's already running the new shader model. And that's what it looks like. That's how you know it's running. If you do not run this PowerShell script, when you start up star system and you try to use that global method like everybody else is saying, it's gonna say not available there because uh, it's not working. Now, the other way to, um, get this working you can actually uninstall the nvidia app and use something called nvidia uh uh what's it called profile inspector you can for you can uh force the um the dlss through there and and the reason you uninstall the app because the nvidia app will automatically override if you have it patched it with the white with the script i'll just show you it will override any setting you make and turn the dlss right back off to the false so, and this is how you check for it. And this is where, where all the other videos are missing is that they're not showing you that DLSS 4.5 is actually running um, the Model M there, which is the latest one there. And as you can see, it looks fantastic. Everything is running nice and smooth. I'm missing my hanger here. I should have that still pulled out there. So yeah, there you go. That's that's DLSS 4.5 actually running. Now, um, oh yeah, make sure uh, they are right about this. When you go to your your settings, make sure you have your, your transform model turned on, DLSS in game, you know, all that stuff. There, that that is correct. Uh, well, like I said, I'm only running window mode to, to demonstrate uh, what this looks like. Now, let me go ahead and get back out of game here. I forgot to show you all one last thing before we wrap this video up. Uh, so to make a, um, if you don't know. To make this, uh, I don't know why this does this, but it's because I'm recording, I think. But uh, to, to make this uh, profile, just click the three dots here, add program, and then navigate to where you have Star Citizen installed. Mine, it's going to be under Live Bin64, and then click on the Star Citizen you can see, and that will add you a um, a profile for so you can actually enable this. Anyway, that's everything. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope this clears up some confusion out there, and um, thank you for watching. Later.